Good evening, or good morning, rather. It is approximately three minutes after 12 o'clock a.m. The 6th of June of 2019. And I, again, am Shannon Murphy, especially the United States Army, signed current. California Army National Guard, active duty, MIA still. I'm here at the office, Chief Executive Officer, Sheet Metal and Associates, a legal advisory and document company here, now based Pittsburgh, California. Current involved a series of videos, YouTube relevant. Thank you very much again, YouTube. Uh, for this opportunity, uh, express that my uh, reference, uh, my constitutional rights to uh, freedom of speech, and I appreciate this opportunity. Uh, again, I protect and defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Here, uh, I exclaim, before in my office, Sheet Metal Associates, Pittsburgh, California, Again, my official distress messages sent to the public via YouTube. There is, in fact, a domestic enemy to the Constitution still here today. Derived from 2004 to here and now, to date, 2019. Again, this is June 6, 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, YouTube audience, uh, I'd like to uh, take you here uh, for continued references to my problem here, where there isn't, I have exclaimed, domestic enemy of the Constitution. Once again, I'm Specialist Murphy, United States Army, and I'm here to, of course, event an official distress message to the public. Um, we started our series of videos. Uh, with a array of documents where we displayed array of documents from uh, court appropriate material, uh, the court cases against um, the U.S. Senator's Kamala Harris office of Kamala Harris and the office of Dianne Feinstein, uh, respective. They are U.S. Senator's current 2019 uh, what the matter was is that 13 teeth were removed from my mouth pre-deployment in 2004. At 2004, uh, my last uh, a contact service, U.S. Army, California Army National Guard, the 144 Field Artillery located 1300 Federal Avenue in Los Angeles, California. Primary interest duty station was the 143rd Service Battery, located at 624 Carlson Boulevard, where I re-enlisted for a period of six years. And upon that six years, three years later, I was given orders to proceed for active duty, 144 Field Artillery in Los Angeles, California. Three years after, I was a six-year contract with $5,000 bonus. Well, I was... At my medical screening, at uh, on my way to medical screening there at Martinez, California, when the Twin Towers were bombed, um, my date of entrance uh, was uh, 2001 um, Officially, the day they been bombed the Twin Towers, I was at Martinez, California, on my way to Martinez, California for my preliminary medical screenings for re-entry the service for that six-year contract re-enlistment five thousand dollar bonus taxpayers money here um again three years i've left i was abandoned from service a uh, coordinate uh return on the stand down from 144 field artillery i was returned uh on the stand down says that these 52 delta Power generation equipment repair was no longer necessary for the mission. 
545 days out of the country, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom, respected. Uh, I was told to return, given an airline ticket to return back uh, to the Bay Area. Uh, 143rd Field of Service intended a return home duty station. I got back there and I asked for my teeth because my teeth, my, my, my operation was incomplete. I asked the, the operations sergeant there for my teeth. He says, Murphy, I don't have any orders for you to even come back to the 143rd service battery. Um, of course, a minor de technicality. We're going to get that straight. Now we're going to go through the channels and we're going to get those orders to get, come back. And I'm going to get my teeth. Well, one month passes, two months passes, three months passes. I don't get any teeth. I don't have any pay like everybody else is getting. I'm not getting paid my my monthly uh, salary, especially since I was on combat. I thought about it. I kicked myself in the butt. Excuse my French. Every time I think about it, I had processed for $5,000 a month, including my combat pay, my BAQ. My children were involved in on the processes there. And I says, well, if I don't have any orders to come back to the 143rd at National Guard uh, one weekend of a month duty, I'm still on active duty orders. I should be getting my pay at $5,000 for, for the three months that I was in lieu and, and downtime of getting my teeth is still not in my mouth. I was on active duty, actually, and I should have gotten $5,000 a month, but I didn't. My operations sergeant wasn't, wasn't motivated or um, uh, in tune to that fact. Also, I wasn't, so um, he's not going to be, okay? Uh, well, anyhow, we're here today. Like I said, I displayed an array in my last videos of documents, Kamala Harris relevant. I showed you the two cases, uh, Officer Diane Feinstein, Officer Dian of Kamala Harris, respective. They are now in U.S. District Court, Northern District of California, at Oakland's jurisdictions. Um, very, very unfair and disrespectful. Uh, continuance of, 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 of proceedings there. I've uh, been asked four months down the line uh, to amend my complaint, four or five months down the line to amend my complaint with Diane Feinstein's office's case. And I, I've gotten some, I've got a discharge, uh, 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 what you call a dismissal on the Kamala Harris case without even having the attorneys recognize the case. And that's six months down the line. The initial case management conference that was set has been detoured, has been rescinded. Um, very, very respectful. I've got to have to um, outline a jurisdiction for now for the FBI to take precedence here. Uh, now this is the man here, the commander in chief, Mr. Barack Obama, uh, back then was my commander in chief. I'm very proud to have an Afro American as the President of the United States and also my commander in chief at that time. Although, here's a letter I wrote to the commander in chief about this situation. This was given to me after I had disembarked um, at Washington, D.C. This letter was written to the President Obama. It says, My explains how my 13 teeth were taken from my mouth from the 144 Field Artillery, 545 day Operation Iraqi Freedom. My feet were never replaced. The teeth were never replaced. So it's medical and um, medical class three medical um, insufficiencies in the profile. It also says um, on the rear here that dentures were ordered. 2004 SOP complying. My unit exclaimed me AWOL uh, where there was no unit because they said I didn't have a unit and I uh, I wasn't I didn't have any orders to return to the unit. How can I be AWOL? And this is a, a bunch of mess. I failed to restore my teeth. Um, 11 the past 11 years. ACB, ACMBR was notified. Gates was notified. Here's a letter from the Honorable Gates uh, Correspondence National Guard Bureau, Army Guard. I'm replying on behalf of Secretary Gates after researching your. Your request. We have found that you were separated from the California National Guard on March 1st, 2006, enclosed with a copy of the report separation and record of, of service in the National Guard Bureau. I don't know how it can be discharged in 2006. 
when I was enlisted in 2001 on a six-year contract. My ATS date wasn't until 2007. At that time, I alleged incidents 2004, you were assigned to the 144 field artillery unit, transferred to the 143rd field artillery unit, effective March 8th, 2004. There are no documents in the interactive personnel electronic records management system that directly correlate to the dis described incidents and just watched it he said i am a, i am i am replying to you on behalf of secretary gates which was who was the secretary of defense at that time very very disrespectful watch the whole investigation i tell you that i'm injured i've i've been tortured but you're not going to investigate and I'm escalating my chain of command to the Secretary of Defense. God uh, bless you. And you're not going to do anything. Just tell me we don't have any information on the, in the, on the, in the, in the database uh, to correlate my story. Um, this message went to this man here, Mr. Barack Obama, the commander in chief, honorable sir. And I have got no results. A member of the Secret Service told me at Washington, D.C., to my face, I can get that message to the president for you. I'm going to get this letter to you. This exact letter here, ladies and gentlemen, was provided to a major in the Secret Service in Washington, D.C.'s uh, VA hospital. Said, I'm taking this message to the president for you, Mr. Murphy. I've got anything. My teeth aren't here. You know what I got? I got a visit from two special agents, Tarver and Ashami here. Special Agents Tarver and Ashami. This was written by them. This is their handwriting. I think this is Tarver's handwriting. Special Agents. Secret Service ended up at my office here at Pittsburgh, California. Letters were written to the Secret Service here. Confirming here. Declaration pertained relevant information for reasons U.S. Army service member did proceed travel by move to relative White House as for he exclaimed, conform U.S. duty. Uh, the, the Secret Service agents here, Tarver and Ashami, ended up at my place of residence, I believe, about 60 days after a little bit um, the visit to the White House, D.C.'s, uh, uh, Washington, D.C.'s VA hospital. And I gave this letter here to the president, provided this to my commander in chief, distress message, official message of distress here. Here it is to the president. Commander in Chief. This is dated October this 26, 2015. Um, this was addressed to the Secret Service, United States, 1700, 1700 Montgomery Street, two, Suite 300, San Francisco, California, 94111. Still haven't gotten my teeth. Uh, Special Agent Tarbert says, Murphy, I'm going to try and get your teeth back. I still haven't gotten my teeth. It's 2019, for God's sakes. This, this stuff took place in 2016. This letters to the Secret Service post. Anyhow, this is Specialist Murphy, United States Army. Hopefully, there will be a progress to this situation, and plus my case is the United States District Court relevant. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully someone will get this message and let's get my point across 